up guys Jason from Jason and Thomas and today we're back with another engine review and today's engine review is on the Athern Genesis 4664 early challenger and now this locomotive it's not bad it's it's good detail it has good detail and some of the parts you have to be easy with because they're easy to come off because say these back here they're fragile by the boiler so if you accidentally lay it on its side, you might want to lay it on something soft so it doesn't break. The engine is nice overall. But if we hop into detail, um, well, you have the Chris Bell at the front, which is nice, made plastic, and if it swivels. And we have the two lights at the front by the big headlamp. So it does come with an extra coupling, and you can install it. I just chose not to put it on. The engine on its wheels, it does have four traction tires. So, where's my pencil? We have some on the back drivers here and some on the back drivers here. So, it should be able to pull a decent amount. The number on the headboard is 3710. And the headboards on the front light up, both on each side of the engine. And... We have the tender. Now the tender. I think that's why they called it an early challenger because the tender isn't as big as the normal like 3985 challengers tender. But it's it's a decent size and the coal capacity, I think it could hold up to about maybe 36 tons. Maybe more. I need to do more research on the locomotive. But otherwise, it's a nice locomotive overall. And let me just shine some light back there. The tender is nice. Having the words Union Pacific on it, it has two little hooks and definitely be careful with those because those can break off easily, as I mentioned. Now, let's get into the back boiler head detail. All right, guys, as you can see, we are in the boiler. We have a lot of stuff like the red valve gear, the firebox, the regulator. And they have seats, but there are no cab figures. Now, if you want to, you can try to install them. I don't think you can. So if I raise the camera a bit, about right there. The um, hatches of these go up, as you can see. So you could put, you could just lift those up to have them up. And we have the two windows. But if we go a little bit lower, now if I lower it back down to about here, you can see the connector that goes into the tender. And the little wire down here that connects to the tender. So we're going to move on to the tender. Now onto the tender. This is the front of it. You guys have seen the side. So spot where we normally bring out the coal. Place where you can plug it in or connect the tender and then plug it in. It's very nicely detailed. I like the little handrail on the side with the coal door. Now sadly if I try to open it, it doesn't open. But that's just still a nice feature anyway. They put a lot of work into the back. And if we turn it around, you guys will give it time. It'll focus. Now, if I turn the light off, you guys will see it says UP3710. But if I turn the light back on, we have the red marker light, the tail lamp the ladders, and the little hook by the ladder with the coupling. Now, it did have a McHenry coupler. I had to change it for a KD coupler because those are too thin for me. So, let's get into the running proportion of it. All right, guys. As I said, the hit board, number boards light up, and we're, we're going to start off with some sounds. Now, mind you, I'm guessing because I know some because I don't have the actual sheet for it. It is at another location that I'll have to get next time. But F0 is the headlight. There we go. Let's turn it on for a second. F1 is the bell. Now, there are a few types of whistles, as in if you set CV to 48 and do number two, 
That's the whistle. Oh. Yeah, well, this one's the default whistle that comes on. Um, I have to set the number, and it comes on the factory set for um, number three. This is the whistle. F3 is the short whistles. F4 seems like it sounds nothing. Five, still nothing. Six. Nope. Now seven, dims the light. Oh, F5, that's the marker light at the back, but I'll show you guys that in a second. Eight is to mute it. Nine, that's coal shovel. And F0 is the light, but I'm going to loosen the camera so we can get a little bit of a run by. Let's zoom out. Number one. Now, I have it on the curve. To show you its articul articulativeness, or however you say the word. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Now you see how the boiler pivots? Now, if I zoom in and you look carefully F5 has a light, also with the tail light. So we're gonna go again, one, two, three, four, and five. Yep, so the Challenger has some interesting features about it, and it's a very nice locomotive. Pricey though, you can get it from Train World, from Athern Genesis themselves, and the price that, well, the MSRP of the locomotive is three fifty nine, three forty nine or three fifty nine. The link will be well to get one. I'll leave it in the description down below. But for right now, um. That's it, guys, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.